I am CSW, and you are back with CSW TV. Now, I was supposed to talk about MH today, but my MA quite simply isn't ready yet. So, let us skip ahead a bit and go back to our original series, SMO 101. Last time on SMO 101, I talked about the concept of convoy. And honestly, I had to debate with myself a lot as to whether I should have talked about it this early. In the end, I decided to go with convoying first because being able to kill your opponent is generally more entertaining than being able to survive against your opponent. However, you should keep in mind that surviving, not killing, is what wins the fights. Why should that be though? After all, you need to know a viable combo to kill your opponent, so how can you win a fight just by surviving? Yet, paradoxically, the better you can prevent your opponent from killing you, the easier it will be for you to kill your opponent. Dare I say that, in Swordsman, the best offense is a good defense. So today, let's look at the simplest method of defense, Dash. Pretty much every action-based, skillshot-oriented MMO games like this one will have a skill similar to Dash. And no, we're not talking about the Zephyr skill Dash, we're talking about the utility skill. And that means using it consumes stamina. To use it is simple, just double tap a direction key. When you do so, you interrupt any skill you're currently casting and dash towards the direction you tapped. When your opponent attacks, you dash and they miss. A simple but effective defense. Or is it? Let's take a closer look. There are three types of attack in this game. Let's call it the skill shot attack, the true target based attack, and the semi target based attack. A Wu Tang Salamento is a skill shot attack. You can name it anywhere you want, even at no one in particular. You can lead with it, you can aim it behind your opponent, you can also let the game assist aim it for you, but no matter what you do, it will still be a skill shot attack. These skills are hard to use, but their advantage is that they're unpredictable. On the other hand of the spectrum, a Sun and Moon's hook and pull is purely a target based skill. It can only be casted on a target and it will follow that target as long as they're in range. More predictable? Simply dashing will not work against these types of attack, since they will follow you. And in between, we have a Zephyr's Traceless, which seems to also automatically teleport towards you. And just like Hook and Pull, the skill requires a target and seemingly hones in onto you. Yet, there is a noticeable delay between the teleport and the skill actually hitting you. It is during this moment where you can dash and the skill will miss, just as if it was another skill shot attack. The teleport is guided but the actual attack is not. So with that said, the obvious question is, how do I use dash to avoid attacks? Well, for a skill shot based attack, you can just dodge as soon as the attack is being used. A skill shot attack will have the target area determined beforehand and cannot change on the fly, so a simple dash will take care of it. Be aware, however, that your opponent may try to predict your dash and lead their skill in order to make you run into them. On the other hand, Skill shot based attacks are so fast that it may be difficult or even impossible to dash away as you see it coming. In this case, the roles are reversed. You will have to try and predict where your opponent is going to use the skill and dash away to avoid that area. For the semi target based skills out there, it really is a case by case basis. The timing is different for every skill, and if you dash too early, the skill will hone in onto you and hit you. Now you may wonder, why can't I just dash again? That's because dash has a cooldown, a very short, barely noticeable cooldown indicated by an equally unnoticeable color changing icon down here, but a cooldown nonetheless. So you must not simply spam dash, you do have to time it. Luckily, if timing dash isn't your thing, we will talk about blocking in the next episode. Blocking is also what you will need to defend yourself against the true target based attacks. So until then, please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next video.